When Mike fires his gun at a target, he hits it with a probability of 0.7. Successive shots are independent. When he starts to fire his gun at the target, calculate the probability that he hits the target for the first time in his fourth shot. The key thing in this question to note is that the successive shots are independent. That means that we can use the fact probability of A intersect B is going to be equal to now sometimes we think of this as a probability of event A and an event B happening. This is equal to the product of their probabilities. So probability of A times probability of B. So when we look at part A, probability that he hits for the first time on his first shot, what this means is we have to have a miss on shot one, and then we have to have a miss on shot two, and then we have to have a miss on shot 3 and finally we have to have a hit on shot 4. We can calculate this probability by multiplying all these probabilities together because one event must happen after the other after another. So we get 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.7 which when I put into my calculator and work through gives me an answer of 0.0189 OK Marks in this question First of all, we get a standalone statement mark for indicating in some way something like this the sequence of events that must lead to a fit a a first time hit on the full shot. So this is your statement mark. Then we have for this line here, we have our method mark showing how we're going to calculate the probability. And finally, we get an accuracy mark if we've demonstrated all of this in order to get this answer of 0 0.0189. Part B. Once hit the target for the second time on his third shot. So looking at the ways that we can think about this, we can either have a miss followed by a hit and a hit, or we can have a hit followed by a miss followed by a hit. We can't have a hit, hit and a miss because we must hit for a second time on the third shot. Now since we are saying one event or another event can happen, these are mutually exclusive outcomes. They can't both happen. So then we can total the probabilities of these two events happening. So what we're looking is the probability of miss one intersect with a hit on the second and then with a hit on the third, plus the probability of a hit on the first and then a miss on the second and then again a hit on the third. Calculating these probabilities, probability is just going to be multiplying these probabilities together, so we're going to get 0 0.3 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.7. When we work through this on the calculator and we total it up, we get a probability of 0.294. How do we get the marks on this question? Well, first of all, we get a standalone statement mark for some way indicating that there's two ways of Mike hitting the target for a second time on his third shot. Then we are going to get a method mark for this line here demonstrating how we're going to multiply the probabilities for each of these events and sum them together. And finally, if we've done all this, we get an accuracy mark for this final answer of 0.294. I hope that all made sense and that you understood it.